Good day everyone and welcome to Delve at 12. I am here today just going to trust and share an encouraging word with everyone this morning. It's just always such a privilege and honor to be able to you know, go live on the Facebook page. So this is really a privilege for me just to be able to preach God's word, just share an encouraging word with all of you today. So, you know, we are five weeks into our identity series and I just thought as, you know, I was preparing for this next 12 minutes, I thought why not let's just keep um, th this encouraging word this morning just around our identity series the last five weeks, how profound it's been, how liberating it's been, how we have just, you know, like it's been mentioned through the, um, you know, the series, we have heard tremendous, awesome, crazy, wild stories, testimonies of just God's goodness, of people coming into this revelation of just knowing who they are and who God is and ultimately coming into this place or this spacious place of learning about our identity with God and who God says we are. So we are just going to stay around this for the next 10 to 12 minutes. We're going to be um, just trusting that everyone is going to be encouraged, that you're going to go away just feeling that little bit more closer to God and just knowing that, 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 that we love by our Father, that we His children, He cares about us, and there's just so much more than what we experience and live out here on earth today. So I'm just going to, just three points that have really just stood out to me over the last week and a half for me personally. And I felt like I just wanted to just expand a little bit on them, share with everyone today. And the first one is His power is always available to keep us. Number two, His presence is always with us to guide us. And then, you know, the third one is His compassion is always there to carry us. And over the last week and just preparing for Sunday and, uh, you know, just looking through some stuff that I had written down, I started to just realize just how profound that these, these three points have actually been in my life, Jess's life, our family life over the last three months. So I just thought it would be a great just to expand on a little bit more, just encourage you and just trust that whatever you're going through, wherever you are, what you might experience in life, that we can confidently know that through our identity, who we are, who God is, that His power is always available to keep us. His presence is always with us to guide us. His compassion is always there to carry us. So before we jump in it, jump into it, why don't we just spend a minute just praying. So Father God, we give you all the praise and honor today. We thank you, Lord, that we're able to come to you, that we're able to be found in you. We thank you, Father God, that you are our Father and that we are your children. Lord, we, we give you all the praise and honor and we thank you, Lord, that you love us, that you care about, about us. We thank you for your grace, your mercy. We thank you, Lord, that every single day that we can get up, get out of bed, and we can choose to serve you, we can choose to be found in you, that we can choose to be found in your love, and that your mercies and grace are new every single day in our lives. So, His power is always available to keep us. You know, if we go into Ephesians chapter 1, verses 19 to 21, I just want to read a bit of it. It's, this uh, piece of scripture or passage today is out of the NLT version, and I just wanted to share this with everyone. It says, I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor and at God's right hand in the heavenly realms and the most amazing thing about the lord jesus christ or god himself actually as born again believers who come into god friends that this power that ephesians chapter 1 verses 19 to 21 speaks about is 
available for us. And as we continue to, to be found in God and we continue to take the scriptures and believe what the scriptures say, and we continue to, you know, really just say, you know what, I'm going to allow this power that God has for us because it's the same power that, um, you know, it says you raised Jesus from the dead. And that's pretty much now we have his spirit in us and the power of God keeps us in the most difficult and president's times of our life. All of a sudden we look back, you know when you look back and you go, oh my gosh, how did I get through that? It was the power of God in your life, in that situation, friend, that was keeping you uh, afloat or level-headed or making the right decisions at the right time. His power was there to, you know, just be there with you and just get you through. So, the next one is His presence is always with us to guide us. And I just want to jump into, you know, it's a well-known scripture. Uh, it is Isaiah 41 verse 10. But I just want to read just a bit of it right from the beginning. It says, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, dismayed, be, be, for I am your God. Friends, you know, just reading that and continuing in the scriptures today, it goes on to say, I will strengthen you. I will help you. These are promises and declarations from our Father God in heaven that is speaking to his children, you and I who are born again, that he will strengthen us, that he will help us, and that he will uphold us. And not only that, but God goes before us. And you know, if you just expand, or if I expand a little bit more on, you know, His presence is always with us to guide us. You know, another two things is we have the wonderful counselor. So many people today go spend so much money on counselors, etc., etc., and a whole lot of things. And the Bible tells us, especially in John, that we have been given the wonderful counselor. Isaiah tells us that we've been given the wonderful counselor, the Holy Spirit. We have an advocate, which is the Holy Spirit, that he intercedes for us, that he positions and places us in, in a place where, going back into point number one, where we can experience the power of God, that we can experience his grace, his love, his kindness in our lives every single day. And instead of being led by the flesh, we are led by the Holy Spirit into a life of godliness. We, we, we have an unprecedented amount of grace, grace, friends, you know, is it's not a license to sin, but it should empower us to say no to sin because we are led by the Holy Spirit. His presence is always with us to guide us. You know, it guides us in many different ways. When I look back on the situation that my family and we've been going through, you know, the, the Holy Spirit has guided us in the sense of like, just, you know, be slow, be slow to become angry, but be quick to listen. Or, you know, pull this person or pull this person for, for wisdom from, from believers around us that maybe have just walked a bit more. And, and just, you know, instead of reacting, we're responding to situations. And it's the Holy Spirit is guarding us, protecting us in these times as well. And then the final one this morning is His compassion is always there to carry us. And you know what, friends, we just serve such a compassionate, loving God. He cares about us. He cares about you and I right now, where we are, what we're going through. You know, he, he, he cares about the desires of our hearts. He cares about what's going on. And, you know, he's so compassionate. Sometimes he will even allow things to come out. I, I just want to share a quick, a quick testimony from, uh, from a lady that we have had the absolute honor over the last four to five weeks or well, five weeks now through the identity series, just seeing God's word come in, impact her, and then, you know, God's word transforming her. You know, there was some stuff that she had been carrying on her heart that she maybe, you know, for many, many years impacted other areas of her life. And the one night at Life Group, there was a word that came through the Life Group, and it was that she had been carrying this trauma since she was a young girl. Just a whole lot of stuff that had happened in her life, but she had never really dealt with or experienced emotional Holy Spirit healing in that area. And, and the Word of God impacted her. It came through, brought this to light. And, and you know, just over the last couple of weeks, there's been emotional 
healing within her heart as she starts to feel free and released of the bondage of that trauma in her life. But it came through the Holy Spirit. It came through the Word of God. It came through transformation. And what's, what is the most amazing thing that has happened now when we talk about our identity, friends, is, is that not only is she experiencing her own inner healing and getting closer to God and understanding who she is, but she is now laying her hands on other people around her to see physical healing um, as she continues to trust God in this area of, you know, stepping out. So it, God is so compassionate. He cares about us. He wants to see us free. He wants to see us liberated. He wants to see us living as children of God, as saints, as servants, as citizens of heaven. And sometimes His compassion will reveal some, some, some stuff in our lives that needs to be removed. And friends, this is the God that we served. And I, I trust today that this message has been encouraging. I trust that you're going to go away and you're going to continue to, to, to really have a hunger and thirst in your heart to be found in the power of God. Why? Because it keeps us. That you're going to, there's a desire in our hearts to be in His presence as much as we can, regardless of what we're going through. Why, friends? Because it guards us. And His compassion is always there to carry us. When we're going through things and sometimes we're like, how did we even get through that? It is His power. It is His presence. It is God's compassion. It's the power that He has for His children. It is the presence that His children are able to be found in. And it's the compassion that He pours out onto you and I, His children, His saints, His citizens of heaven. And I just trust this morning that this has been encouraging and Whatever you're going through today, know that you have a Father God in heaven who loves you, who cares about you. He is absolutely, absolutely delighted in you. And regardless of what people are saying to you today or, or what's going on or how life is treating you, know, know, know that you're a citizen of a much, much better country that God has prepared for us. And I want to encourage you, keep on be in God's word, plug into the local churches, plug into men and women who you can clearly see that have some kind of fruit in their lives that are, 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 that, that, that are powering on and, and, and just running after Jesus in their lives. Get close to them, ask them, get involved in, in local church and the serving teams, whatever it may be that, that, that's going to draw you closer into God. I want to encourage you to, today, don't let anything stop you from pressing in because Jesus didn't let anything stop him when he went to the cross for you and I. Why? Because he wanted us to be a part of his family. Because he loves, about, he loves us, he cares about us. And that is who we are. And that is who he is. And we serve the mighty, mighty king of heaven and earth. To every single person that has been online today, I uh, just want to say, I uh, uh, just trust that you are going to be set free, whatever you need to be set free. I want to say thank you for this amazing opportunity to be able to have been able to just share with you today. I trust you have a good day. Don't forget that this coming Sunday, it is our final part of our identity series. I want to encourage you. It doesn't matter if you miss one, two, three, four, and five. Be there Sunday morning for part six. It's going to be a great radical time of getting to know the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, our Jesus Christ. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, everyone, and we will see you all soon. Bye for now.